dad was born on the riverbank at Nambucca Heads. I remember once when we were living at Marylands and dad was driving for Postmaster General. I heard him telling stories when he first got into semi-driving. He was the first Aboriginal ever to, uh, to receive the Coca-Cola shipment and to deliver to the big stores. Another time, we were living at Auburn by then with Dad's brother, who, God rest his soul, who also was a truckie, Uncle Bruce. Anyway, and he picked Kerry and I up, my brother, and <laughs> we're going up Parramatta Dan Road right there at Lightcard and the bloody old truck broke down. <laughs> Ah dear, and there's Dad putting all the witches hats around for safety and we always had that excitement I suppose because every chance we got to be in the truck with Dad or Dad's brother Uncle Bruce, that was, yeah, woo woo, you know, and it was, it was something that we all looked forward to every weekend. Dad's mum was living here at Barbara's Lane at Stewart's Point. I was pregnant with my first one. I came home and it was a real surprise. Dad turned up and all of a sudden I, I, I knew it was time for me to get home to Sydney to have my first baby. Well, you wouldn't believe it. Dad pulls up. Come on, girl, I'll take you home to have your baby back at Penrith. So we get down South Kempsey where all the truckies pull over and check their loads. But when Dad got out of the truck to check the load, which he was carrying 44 gallon drums of honey, who, to our surprise, is hidden amongst the drums? There's my brother. Gets further down the road and Dad pulls over again at Telegraph Point and I'm going, what are you doing? Because I had my first little pain. And Dad goes, oh, my logbook says I've got to stop here. I've driven me six hours, I've got to have me break. And I'm going, but you can't have a break now, I'm going to have my baby. So Dad said, I can't help you girl, we have to have a break. So he went off to sleep, I got another bad pain, I said, I'll bugger this. So I got behind the bloody wheel and I drove that truck from Telegraph Point to Dural because he'd told me where he was going and I was pretty good because I'd been around the traps with Dad a fair bit. Well, when I pulled the semi up, I didn't know which driveway, and he woke up and he goes, Oh, well, come on, girl, we better get going along the road to Sydney. I said, Dad, which driveway? Because I drove his old truck, belly out and all. And mind you, I didn't even think about it. I was in the motherhood mode. <laughs> yeah, Dad unloaded his trailer, got it done real quick, got me back to St Mary's, and said, Don't you ever do that to me again? 